Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Learn with Sir Glenn. So for this video, we're going to discuss solving word problems involving geometric sequence. So let's go! Before we proceed with our discussion, let's have a review first of the formulas that we're going to use. First is the formula for geometric sequence which is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r is to n minus 1. This formula is used to find a missing term on a geometric sequence. Then we will have the finite geometric series. So we can have the s sub n is equal to a sub 1 times 1 minus r is to n all over 1 minus r if you are looking for a finite geometric series given the number of terms that you're going to add. Then the other one is s sub n is equal to quantity a sub 1 minus a sub n times r all over 1 minus r. You use this formula if you are given the a sub 1 and a sub n of your finite geometric series. But you have to remember that you can only use this formula if r is not equal to 1. So let's have our problem. So equalize a bacterium that can double every 20 minutes. If there are initially 10 E. coli in a petri dish, how many bacteria will there be after 2 hours? So, if you want to solve for this problem, first you have to analyze the problem by reading, understanding, and visualizing the problem. Then, we have to determine the following. What is S? What are the given? What concept or formula are we going to use? Then after that, we can now solve for the problem. After analyzing the problem, you can now determine what is S on your problem. So, for this one, we're asked, if there are initially 10 E. coli on a petri dish, how many bacteria will there be after 2 hours? Then, we're going to look for the given that will help us to answer the what is S. So, for this one, we will have the E. coli bacteria that doubles every 20 minutes. Then, we're given that there are 10 E. coli bacteria on a petri dish. And we're given also 2 hours. By analyzing the given, you can actually create a geometric sequence with terms 20, 40, 80, up to 6 term. So, where did you get the 20? The 20 is actually the number of E. coli bacteria after the first 20 minutes. And in 2 hours, there are actually 6 20 minutes. Therefore, we're going to have up to 6 term. So, what concept or formula are we going to use to find the 6 term? So, for this one, we're going to use the concept of geometric sequence and the formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r is to n minus 1. So after this, we can now solve using the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So all we have to do now is to identify the variables in our formula. So we will have a sub n is a sub 6 since we are looking for the 6th term. a sub 1 is equal to 20 n is equal to 6, then common ratio is equal to 2. Then after this, we're going to replace the variables in our formula with the values that we obtain. So we will have a sub 6 is equal to 20 times 2 raised to 6 minus 1. Solving for this, we will have a sub 6 is equal to 20 times 2 raised to 5. And that is equal to a sub 6 is equal to 20 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Multiplying the numbers will give you a sub 6 is equal to 640. So therefore, there will be 640 equal bacteria in the Petri dish after 2 hours. So let's have another one. Pedro wants to buy a cell phone worth 12,000 pesos. If he plans to save 100 on the first week, 200 on the second week, and 400 pesos on the third week, and so on, will he able to buy the cell phone after 7 weeks? So first, we analyze and understand and visualize the problem. So after that, we can now identify what is us. On our problem, we're asked that if Pedro plans to save 100 on the first week, 200 on the second week, and 400 on the third week, and so on, will he able to buy the cell phone after 7 weeks? After this, we're going to determine what are the givens. So these are the information that will help us to answer what is us. So in our problem, we have the cell phone which is worth 12,000 pesos, the way Pedro plans to save money, which is... 100 for the first week, 200 for the second week, and 400 pesos on the third week, and so on. 
and 7 weeks. From analyzing the given, we can write the given in this way. So, 100 plus 200 plus 400 plus up to the 7th term. And after this, we can now identify which formula are we going to use. So, for this one, we're going to use geometric series and the formula is S sub n is equal to A sub 1 times quantity 1 minus R raised to n all over 1 minus R. And to use the formula, we have to identify first the variables in our formula. So we have S sub n is S sub 7 since we're going to add 7 terms. A sub 1 is 100 which is the first term. N is 7 which is the number of terms that we're going to add. And R is 2, our common ratio. So after obtaining these values, we have to replace the variables in our formula with the values that we obtained. So we will have S sub 7 is equal to 100 times 1 minus 2 raised to 7 all over 1 minus 2. Then, S sub 7 is equal to 100 times 1 minus 128 over negative 1. After this, we will have S sub 7 is equal to 100 times negative 127. So we can cancel the negative sign and this one will give us S sub 7 is equal to 12,700. So after 7 weeks, Pedro will be able to save 12,700. So Pedro will have enough money to buy the cell phone after 7 weeks. Okay, that's it. We're done. Thank you for watching and hope you have learned something from this video.